Hello and welcome to another one of these ADD videos. Today we're going to be looking at the concept of solutions. What is a solution? A solution is a homogeneous mixture in which molecules and ions can interact freely. So you usually have two parts to a solution. One is the solvent and the other one is the solute. The part that is present in large quantity relative to the other is called the solvent and it is what the solute is dissolved in if water is the solvent then the term aqueous solutions will be applied or you might see the abbreviation aq in a chemical equation meaning aqueous as well so solutes are anything that is dissolved in the solvent. And when we're talking about solutions, we talk about percent concentration, and that's the ratio of grams of solute per 100 grams of solution. Now, we can look at different types of solutions. There's going to be a dilute versus a concentrated solution. All right? So is the iced tea really strong, or is it rather weak if you barely put any tea in there it's a dilute solution and it's got a small percent concentration meaning there's a small ratio of solute in this case tea per 100 grams of solution the water in tea so tea would be the solute in that example and the water would be the solvent in a concentrated solution, though, the tea would be very strong, and we would have a large ratio of solute per 100 grams of the tea or solution. So a saturated solution is whenever you reach a point in which you can no longer dissolve any more solute into your solution. Think of the iced tea example. When you add sugar to that mixture and you stir most of the sugar will disappear. It'll go into solution. But at some point, you will reach a saturation point and sugar can no longer dissolve into the solution. It'll just fall to the bottom. The point at which it can no longer accept any more solute is called the saturation point. Solubility is the number of grams of solute per 100 grams of solvent that it takes to make a saturated solution at a specific temperature. So, how much of that solute does it take to make it saturated? Now, solubility increases as the temperature increases. In an unsaturated solution, there's less solute than in a solution that has reached that saturation point. In other words, not enough solute has been added to reach saturation, so it can dissolve more solute. A supersaturated solution is an interesting thing. Whenever you heat a solution, if you remember me discussing that earlier, you increase the solubility. So Let's say I've got some solution. I heat it up. Now I can add more solute where I couldn't before. And it will dissolve away. Because I've increased the solubility. By heating it. So I add some solute. Okay. And it dissolves away. Now I reach that saturation point for this new temperature and I stop and then I cool my liquid back down. Well the solubility now decreases back to what it was but you won't get the solute to come out of solution. So whenever the solute stays in solution at this cooled level it's said to be super saturated because we've put more solute than that temperature would normally allow by heating it up and adding more and then allowing it to cool and thereby 
making it a supersaturated solution because it's got more solute than it normally would in that solution at that temperature. Okay? So hopefully that made sense. A precipitate is uh, whenever we're having a solution and a reaction occurs in that solution and you form a product that has a low solubility in that solvent so then you start to solidify the product this is called a precipitate formation and it's a precipitate reaction or precipitation reaction that produces this solid those are the basic vocabulary words and concepts you should be familiar with when discussing solutions we're going to be going over ionic solutions first so make sure you understand these keywords whenever you go on to the next concept of ionic equations thank you and have a nice day